Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. I'm here playing an old favorite. Who didn't like Portal? I played it. And for those that didn't play it, in about 10 minutes, you'll be like looking for it on Steam to buy it. This is an absolutely fantastic little puzzle game. So I'm going to jump right in, start a brand new game. Oddly enough, of course, it uses Steam Vault to like store save. So I've got like things that I've finished from, oh, I don't know, decades ago. Ah, it's not that old. Oh, seven, I think. Anyway, start a new game. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from the portal. Don't make a portal. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. How's that? Hopefully that. Hopefully that audio is a little bit better. That was going out. Oh look, a portal! I got it right. This is. I think this is the only time in the game where you can see yourself. Possibly. Maybe there's other times. Anyways, that's it. Success! Puzzle one solved. So easy. There's the door I have to go through. Hey, look! Uh, companion cube. Excellent. Please Excellent. proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Oh, I guess I could have got one and got another one, right? And prove that? I should have. Darn it! I missed out. I should have. I definitely should have done that. One. Hey, I have passed. Does that mean I'm I'm finished one? I think I've finished one of nineteen. Please place the weighted storage cube on the fifteen hundred megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Super button. Super colliding super button. Well, where's the, oh there it is. I got the cube. Oh, and go back. Do the same portal. Perfect. Ah, Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Ah, uh, dangerous button. Get away from the dangerous button. <coughs> Excuse me. Success. Oh wait, I can't get another cube. Though. There was only one cube. All right, moving on. Ignoring any other cube. Two down. Seventeen to go. I guess no, that's not right. Eighteen to go. Is Your that doing twenty? Where's my little well. tracker? There it is. Please be advised that this a noticeable two case of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Ow! Oh, what's here? 
Nice. Oh wait, no, it's not. Oh no, I knew it was an orange one. I'm in this room. Hello. Wait, why don't I just go take it? Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Yeah, don't do that. Oh. Can I get, can I clear it? I don't think I can clear it. Let's move it. Jump. No, I missed. Jump. I still missed. Let's see if we can get some physics working. Nope. I don't think so. There's no clearing that one. I was hoping to get some physics work, but no physics. Next. Moving on. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Okay, I'll just go this way. Oh, there you can see yourself. There I am. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. There you go. Bring your daughter to work day. Have her tested. These tests are easy. Loading. Oh. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. looking at me. It's watching me. All right, where's the orange one? There's the orange one. This is easy. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. Hoping just to like have it fall through like that. I'll do it that way. Hey, wait, where's the button? What was it called? The pressure button? I can't remember what you said. Once again, excellent work. Excellent. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm entirely on my own. Somehow, I don't believe her. Five. Don't let it hit your head, or do let it hit your head. I'm not sure what the sign is meant to be. Is it like, is it instructions? Have the companion cube hit you in the back of the head. I like how the uh, the light gives off noise. It's like electrical noise. That's cool. They're still watching me. See, they said I wasn't going to be monitored, but the camera's watching. All right, two buttons. Look, check mark, check mark. Down here, dash. Person running. I think I need to go up there. Hey, now I'm standing on it. Nice. Oh, 
There's the other one. Oh, that was the wrong one. That's the right move. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Oh, it was above that. I didn't even know where I was. Cool. Off I go. Next, please. Four down. These things. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, will kill you. the aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Permanent. That's right. Permanent disabilities such as vaporization. This is easy. I need to get it to go in there. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject phone call here. I'm sure I am. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I look about right. Will I fall through at the right spot? Just like so. Believe it or not, the first levels are fairly easy. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. I think there are instructions, which is basically don't get hit with the ball. Get the ball in the socket. Don't fall into the water because it'll shoot little squiggly lines out. And don't drink the water. Sounds about right. Pretty sure that stuff's gonna kill anyone. And they don't last very long. There, that's, that's as long as they last. Having the markup is useful. If I have the markup on the wall, I know where to hit it. So I can hit it here, and it'll go through there. Now it'll bounce off there and go through that. Like so. Oh, no, I gotta go over there. See? Don't. Oh, don't get hit with the ball. Yeah, the ball's gone. Then I go. 
There I can see myself. I can see myself in infinity. Which was actually quite a cool concept when Very this game came out. Please Able note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. To have the recursion of cameras go through those portals. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. That's it. Impossible. Cube falls down, hits you in the head. Okay. I've already got a cube. I have already got a cube. Ah, this is where you're supposed to do the test of... If I go the through here... The Center apologizes Whoa. for this clearly broken test chamber. Oops. You go through there. Once again, the there. Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I am. I can remain anything in, a, in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Momentum. Momentum. This is actually one of the coolest spots. Well, wow, one of the cool. This is where it starts getting really cool when you play the original game. Because if you did this and you walked out of here, you would just fall down to there. But if you actually move the blue portal, pressing the wrong key. As you're in flight, you keep your momentum. And then you come all the way up. That guy's up there. It's the same job here. Spectacular. And you keep you all your to momentum. understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. It's that easy. Whoa. What am I? Eleven? 10 or 11, something like that. Let us see. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Oh yes, the gooey floor which is represented by water with squiggly lines coming out of it. Dangerous ball. Get ball in socket. Do not drink water. Do not go into water with squiggly lines. Portals do not go through. Ah, this one's moving around. Oh, now where is it? See, I can see where it is here. 
Oh. What does this do? Clearly a timer. You can hear it. Tick, 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 tick. want to do is actually grab that gun. Oh, I don't think there's any... Oh, no, I don't know. Did that there. So that guy travels through there and hits that rocket. There we go. Oh, that switch went away. I can no longer open this door. Hopefully that's okay. I can't get in. Thankfully this thing was just waiting for me. modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject hometown, here. There you go. This device is now worth more than everything in my hometown. But I can do... Wait, where did you go? I didn't think he was going to disappear. Come back here. I need that... Nothing at all. I think I just noticed a, a UI thing that I had never noticed before. The little portal thing. It's probably hard to see on screen. The little portal icon is empty. If I, if I shoot the blue one... Get your detail, fling yourself. Into now it's got a little, it's got a little circle. So the little blue half moon has a little circle. And the orange half moon has a little circle. Ah, and they light up when you point at them. Interesting. I don't think I ever noticed that little touch. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going up there, clearly. Oops. Here, let's move this one. This is another speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Whoa, I missed it. I'm not going to be speedy enough. Actually, I'll go through this one anyway. I get to change angles. That's fun. I get to shoot myself out at an angle. Oh. Fail. Oh, it's easier doing this. Well.
One door open. Check mark engaged. Oh, that would have been so fast. I would have like super speedy coming out of that. Let's try it again. Should I do it again? Ow! Whee! Next This next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. Awesome. Now I sort of want to pass out just to see what that happens. Hello, Delarpin. Nice to see you. I am enjoying it thoroughly. This is not the first time I've played it, so. And yes, I'm pretty sure this is one of those games that I picked up. I'm like, oh, this looks kind of cute. I'll pick it up and I'll play it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I finished it in the first sitting because it's so addictive when you get into it. All right, don't get hit in the head. Don't get hit in the face. Get the thing in the socket. Got it. I feel like I needed to do that. Oh, that opens that door. That's all it does. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's definitely worth uh, if you ever see it on sale. Definitely worth it. And oddly enough, it's ten years old, eleven years old now. I think it held up pretty good. The graphics are great. Portal Two is even more. Far more elaborate. Oh. What are you doing? Where's the socket? I don't see the socket. Oh, the socket's on the floor. Well, that's easy enough. Socket on floor. Oh, I got a drop onto this thing. That's gonna be uh, rough. That's ah, fine. Wait, there's a third one. How is there a third one? There's only two cubes. Well, unless there's a cube in here. Ah. That's all I need to do. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. I'll be missed? Going. Ooh, lots of instructions here. Don't get hit in the head. Don't get hit in the face. Yeah, ball and socket, that thing's yeah, water, squiggly lines, got it. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Don't drink the water. All subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma-leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. 
No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Handy stairs, those ones. They just show up when you need them. Alright, I gotta get up there. Speedy thing in, speedy thing out. Oh, and I missed. Oh, and the stairs came back. Thank you, stairs. in here now. Ah! What new devilry is this? I'm not doing that. I'm just going to go across this way. Oh, but I do have to go back. That's funny. Funny. Alright, the trick is not to get hit with a ball. Complimentary liftery? Victory lift liftery? Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and brief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Yes, you are very welcome. I am looking forward to cake. Hey, this is the same instructions as last time. Ooh, that one looks nasty. Cake. Thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Oh, there's lots of momentum challenges in this one. Ah, uh, this is interesting. This is a cool puzzle because you can't you can't just put something there and walk through this thing because when you walk through this little field it kills all your open portals. You can't cast a portal through it. Ah, uh, whoops. Screwed that one up. Oh, I thought I hit it. There I did. Thankfully those little energy balls bounce really nicely off these walls. 
nice of them to do that for us. Angles are fun. going to be enough but I have to fly I have to learn how to fly oh I overshot it guess I don't need the jump to begin with I overshot it again obvious solution is to do this, and this. <laughs> but of course they come out at an angle so it's never the obvious solution it's more like that wait how do I get out of here now things running. Go faster. Does that mean it goes underneath there and disappears? Yes, it does. Oh, I see. Wait, wait, what opens the other one? Ah, it's over there. Got it. All right, that opens the inside one. 
That opens the outside one. Uh, oops. Alright, I gotta do that one before I do that one. That's the key to it. Did you know you can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science of the Steam Fund for Girls? It's true. That's a little creepy. Donating organs to a self-esteem fund. Just take me up. Thank you. I get the feeling that organs is their most common currency. Mandatory scheduled maintenance. The appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The enrichment center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Well, that sounds fun. Live fire androids. New save game. Just in case. And because I haven't saved yet. I probably should. Oh. There's the fire android thing. Whoa! Ah! I broke him. Checking down. Stop. Scary stuff. Probably should have done something else with this guy. Hey, don't fight ducks! Coming in, I'm gonna go somewhere safe. Activated. Hello? Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Don't fight docs, welcome, thanks for the raid and the host, appreciate it. Ray, hello, McVegan Pants, Desert Owl, thanks for coming in everybody. Who's there? I was Fallout tonight. I was lurking for a while. Looks like you're making good proc. Don't stop shooting at me. That guy's really loud. Hey, cookie moment, Jinx. Hello. Yes, I am playing through Portal again. I haven't played this in so long. It's been. It is so much fun. It is so much fun. And I'm on. What am I on? I'm on 16 of 19. So I'm almost done. Right? Done. And look, there's cake at the end. It says so right here. I'm counting on it. Hello. Whoa. Searching. Hey. Here, go stand in the corner. There you go. Hey, Val. Welcome. Oh. Don't shoot me. Search. Help. Help. You go stand in the corner, too. 
Ninja Kitty thinks the bots are cute. The bots are cute. They kill you, but they're cute. Other than that, you know, it's... Ah! Oh, I can get out. Can I get out? I accidentally joined the mafia. I accidentally sedu accidentally seduced someone's wife. Met the greasiest boy. Unwittingly participated in an assassination, and had to reload a whole lot. <laughs> uh, sounds like a fun night of gaming. <laughs> New Reno's a trip. Awesome. Yeah, I never played Fallout. I never got into it. I keep hearing so many good things about New Vegas. I should probably pick it up. Including that you can basically just pick it up. It's not that hard a game to uh, start from. Oh, I have companion cubes now. That's cool. Whoa! Ow! You shot me. I played D&D &D with Aerothart and a few others and laughed so hard. I can imagine. It's awesome. Yes, I am still here. Would you stop shooting at me? Oh, look! There's an X. I think that X is probably important. Nap time, he says. Is anyone there? Oh. Searching. Ah. Could have done that a little bit better, I think. bot. All right. Progress is being made. Gone. Blue Felgar's hosting a three viewers. Thanks, Abula. What are you doing? Oh, I actually just set him down. I thought I knocked him over. Vegan Pants is hosting. Thank you, host. Much appreciated. I'm getting attacked by bots left and right. Some, some tunes. Wow, there's a lot of cubes in here. Ow! Stop that. It was supposed to be only a one shot or finish next. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. I need some guards. My companion feuds are my guards. So I can do that. 
without getting shot. No, I definitely need another one. Oh, this is why they give you so many. Through. Now drop. Got that one. Can I get this one? Yep. I come from. Put me down. More done. Just like that. There's no real puzzle to this. Well, there was the momentum puzzles earlier well done, were actually Android. significantly more. The enrichment center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Android Hell. All right, I will not defy you, Gladys. Yeah, the Portal 2 puzzles. I've played through Portal 2, both uh, single player and co-op. Uh, I was thinking about doing that one again. And will deliver a weighted companion cube in three, two, one. Ah, the companion cubes. How nice. Yeah, I was going to do Portal 2, but I thought, oh, why don't I just do Portal 1 first? It only takes a couple hours. All right. Companion cubes you shoot thing hits you in the head don't get hit in the face put thing in socket ball in socket no problem this weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber please take care of it whoa 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 All right, so a ball of death coming down here. I think my companion the keeps saying. The symptoms most me. commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center oh. reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you, and in fact cannot speak. I died. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't... The, the trick is, is that this, uh... This ball hits the cube and then it just bounces around randomly. The symptoms most so commonly to produced avoid by enrichment by center it. testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. It will not threaten to stab me, and in fact, it cannot speak. These are truths we know about the companion. Uh oh, uh oh, I think 
gonna get hit in the back. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I don't have to go all the way back, though. That thing travels faster than I do, apparently. Uh oh. <laughs> it did it again! I'm stuck. This is where I quit. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, I will not do the exact same thing a third time. Alright, now I will follow it. Alright, I am out. I think I am safe here. Let's hope I am safe here. Quick save, just in case. Now, I need some of these guys. Little ball in socket. Did I get it? No, of course not. I need to do it over here. Woohoo! One down! switch oh it's through I see so I got to get that a little electric ball to travel through both these doors Oh, this one's easy. That one is easy. Need my cube. Do the easy one first. Get it out of the way. The there we go. Reminds you that the one down. Companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. All right, don't, don't listen to the companion cube. All right. All right, so I gotta get a ball to come through there. And then I gotta stand on this plate before it hits this door. That could be tough. not going to walk directly in the path of the high energy plasma ball. Ah! Look 
probably came out at an angle. Oh, I see. It sort of does come out at an angle. That's odd. Maybe the door's at an angle. I'm not quite sure. There's one. There's one. Ah! I missed it. If I crouch, will I miss it? Maybe. I don't know. But I got it. Third time's a charm. Ah. Except I can't jump. Success at jumping. Oh my, I get to, I had to bring my companion cube. I have to admit, Gladys did tell me that it would actually accompany me through this entire puzzle, so that was my own fault. No, it's not in there. Apparently my companion cube can jump, but I cannot. There we go. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. It did. However, it I cannot it. accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Ooh. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. Don't I have to leave it there? Oh, no. It just had to open the door. No. Don't I want to go through the door? Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the Enrichment Center, Aperture Science employees, and all test subjects of any moral response. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. You told me to. I'm just following instructions. <laughs> exactly, Val, right? It's like, why? Why does it have to end here? We had such a good start. Alright, carrying on. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. Cake! They promised cake. And I gotta do all of these things except for cake. It's still getting a little out of hand. Can I go this way? I can go this way. What do we find? Graffiti. 
Oh, the graffiti's hints, and it looks like it's written in blood. Somebody's watching here. SME? Smee's watching me? Not never, but now. Not never, but now. Courage is not the absence of fear. Look, it's a PC. Can I tip it over? Oh, almost. There we go. Oh, that looks bad. I'm not going down there. Wait, what was up? I didn't go up. No, there's nothing up. A door! Let me out. Nope. Well, there's nothing for it to continue. All right, it appears I cannot go back there anymore. I think I need to come out over there. So, that is up. There's a switch. All right, I gotta get to the switch. Okay, speedy things go in, speedy things come out. Ah, uh, then I missed. There we go. I don't suppose I get a cube. Oh my! Thing shooting at me. And then this thing closes. Oh, stop it. still there. Oh, I wonder if I can get these balls to shoot them. Bet you I can.
Did it work? Yep. One down. Oh, my game just kind of froze there for a second. That's what... Yeah, it is a busy room, isn't it? Well, they have this, this thing shooting out these balls in four directions. So if I do that, I should be able to hit that guy. Oh, and I missed him. Oh, there. Oh, I missed again. It's important to remember that the things can see through all the portals. So they give you they give a new line of sight every time you put up a portal. Oh, I got that one. How did I get that one? I just got one through mere chance, I think. See if this works. Oh, way over top. And that was too low. I'll get it. The portals you create are very confusing to me. Yeah, I can imagine they're hard to uh, kind of visualize what I'm doing. I realize that. When I looked up, it's like, you don't know that I'm actually looking up, but I do at that point. But basically, I mean, the, the, the portals just go through each other. So if I go in this hole, I come out that hole. <laughs> it's easier to see if it's at a right angle. There, I can look at this, I can look at my side. So that's me. That's also me. And through the blue portal, I see through the orange portal. So I can actually step through it. And the same with this way. So I got to get this ball. Well, I guess I what I should have done is just done this. Whoa, whoa. Is gonna shoot me. Ah. Uh, they're both they're, they they go two directions. So yeah, you could call them entrances and exits, but they they do basically go in the same direction. Ah, that guy's got a beat on me. So that's this is the strange kind of thing. It's like they also create line of sight. So for these little robots. Uh, this little robot up here can see the blue portal. So if I step over in line of sight to the orange portal, it can now see me. So what I'm seeing in this orange portal right here is actually what is seen through this blue portal. <laughs> To, to say the least, it's a very, very clever game. Like, it is just, it is thoroughly clever the whole way. So if I do, let's throw that one down there so that guy doesn't have a line of sight on there. So if I throw the orange one up here, then you'll also see that the little targeting, the red target goes through the orange and comes out the blue, which means I can direct one of these balls 
by moving blue to here, it'll now travel down that line and hit. Oh, I missed him. How did I miss him? Let's do this one. So now that ball will travel through the blue, out the orange, and hit the robot. That was weird. I did it again. My game froze again. Quick save, just in case. Now I think I need one of those. Oh, that's funny. So there's a switch here, which I can probably reach right there. So I, and you can actually interact through the portal. So I can hit that switch without actually, oh man, that is not up very well. Without actually stepping through the portal itself. Because if I step through the portal, I'd land in that muck and die. So what has to be done here is I got to get a ball. Oops. Yeah, to go that way. All right, so this is going to be a test of speed. But yeah, it's it's hard to visualize what just went on. I got I basically got that ball to come out over there, and then before it got to this door, I moved the portals and opened the door by hitting the switch. And that's the door. Alright, so that lit that bridge up, so now I can use that bridge. getting clearer. Excellent. All right, let's jump on the bridge. I don't know where the bridge is going to take me. Oh, that's interesting. There's a there's a surface down here. Oh, I probably should have got off the bridge. Oh, and this thing stopped. Oh, that's fine. see so that thing moves this panel and that panel goes up at an angle no it's moving Boom. 
All right, so that thing just shot me across the room because momentum is preserved. So I came out over here, jumped off that ledge, went through the blue portal, I went through the orange one that was at an angle, and therefore my momentum was preserved, throwing me all the way across the room to get to this cube. Now I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this cube. I'm guessing I go back over here because I don't know where else to go. Hey, Zinger. <laughs> Yes, I had to dig out portal. How you doing, Zinger? Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I just don't know what to do with this cube. What am I doing with this cube? I wonder if I have to get back. Was this whole point of this exercise to get this cube? It might have been. Okay, you wait there. You... Wait. The orange one there? Oh, I missed it. I am doing very well, thank you. Although I had late last week off, I actually felt pretty good. I took Thursday and Friday off since Wednesday was already a holiday. So I had a nice, very, very, very long weekend. So I do have to go to work tomorrow. But that's all right, has to be done. All right, I think I want... Wait. I think I needed to do this and just get it back. There we go. That whole room was just to get that cube. I can tell you're in the lazing mood actually sitting down. Yes, I am. Uh, I don't know why. When I do when I do anything first person, I tend to sit down. <laughs> when I do things third person, I'll, I'll stand up. Uh, which one did I like? The orange one. Oh, I remember this room. This is fun. All right, save. All right, I just have to remember to do the right portals at the right times. All right, this is one of the funnest momentum ones. So when they teach you about momentum, they tell you the basic rule is when speedy things go in, speedy things come out. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a blue portal down here. And then I'm going to go through it. Oh, and I missed. But basically, now I'm just going up and down. Because <laughs> I just continue to fall back through a portal. So I'm facing straight up. Now I'm facing down. Now I'm up. Now I'm down. <laughs> so gravity keeps pulling me in a different direction. Gravity with a T. Uh, but that did not work. So throw one up there. So this is just endlessly falling. So this is one of the kind of the cool things you can do in the game is you don't actually have to stop. You don't have to steer. I think there generally is a terminal velocity in the game. But I can look around at what's going on. Hopefully nobody's getting motion sickness from this. Okay, I'm a little lost. Where am I trying to get to? Let's go back over here. So what I want to do again is to get to fly out of that portal. The other trick is, it is cool, isn't it? Um, this was probably the hardest level when I first played the game. Uh, just because it takes a lot of time to kind of get everything. So the other thing is, is that there's an up and a down to the portal. So when you do this, I can't quite, let's do it here. When I put them like this, I'm upright, right? So the, the blue portal is up and the, and the, oh, there's a hidden radio. Yeah, you're right. Where is the radio? Oh, it's down there. Here, I'll bring the radio up here. There we go. There's the radio. Yeah, so there is an up and a down to the uh, to the portals. So if I do this, then up is that far side and then when I do this up is also the far side so quite often when you when you come out you'll be like I'm not I'm not facing the right direction but you just you basically thought about the portal in the other direction so anyway I need to I need to come flying out of this one to get above that one so let's see if I can do this and I will just go back down and I will go back up and I will keep bouncing in between these two. So as long as I don't change any of my directions, I'll just keep going up and down. But I can see, and then I will also twist up and down. I can see this portal. So if I put the blue one over there, now I'm coming out the orange and the blue one, but the blue one moved. So I'm still coming out the orange and the blue one still. So. So now I want the third one, oh, which is right there. And I want the orange one over there. And now I'm disoriented. <laughs> I thought Gary Larson was the far side, maybe. Oh, and I shot the wrong one. <laughs> that happens too. Uh, so I meant to shoot what did I put up there? I put the orange one up there and the blue one over here. I don't know if I can get back to that now. Can I jump that far? Yep. But I'm hardly moving. Hey, hard hit. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. 
All right, so I'm not moving nearly fast enough here. But I did, wait, did I? No, I want to come out the other one. All right, now I'm on the taller one. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm getting me dizzy too. It's like that. One of the problems is is that when you look at this wall, like it's not like looking at a tree. Like like there's an up. Like when you look at a tree, like the tree, you know, flower, leaves go up, branches go up, or whatever on the tree, right? But all these squares are identical, so you have no idea whether I'm looking down or left or whatever here. All right, so I came out that one. So now I need to use momentum to come off of that one onto that one. Since there's nothing else to do. So that one's way, that one's quite a bit higher. So the question is, and this is important because this one isn't flat. Man, I got some graphical glitches going on here. All right, look at it. This one's not flat. So when I come out of here, if I miss this, I'm dead. But I don't have to move. I no longer have to move this portal. And I don't think portals disappear when you die. So the trick is now not to lose my orange portal, which is over there. Boom. Well like that. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. So I just jumped off that portal, shot the blue in front of me so that I can use momentum to come out of that one, even though it's lower, up here. I deserve cake. I do deserve cake, don't I? All right, the final test. 19. Luck! Cake is now lit. We now get cake. So we just get balls and sockets. Watch out for water with squiggly lines. Don't drink it. Is that what that is? I don't even know what that means. Oh, this one's tough. Oh no, this one's not that tough. The other cool thing about these portals is that if you enter something, so not only does, if a, if a physics teacher used portal to demonstrate a lesson, that would be one cool teacher. It would be, wouldn't it? Um, when things go into a portal, they come out at the same angle, inverted, right? So, so you don't you don't go into it at an angle and come out straight. Uh, you always come out at an angle. So the trick to this is, and this of course might be a trick. It might be fooling me. If I do this, then I should be able to put a blue one here and have it come out at an angle. But it comes out at the wrong angle, which is fine. Because what I can do is simply destroy the orange portal and then it'll bounce back up. Uh, 
All right, so now I get a walkway. Well, that's where I came in. Grab as a physics professor. No, 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 no. Not a physics professor. This thing is annoyingly loud. Can I do that one? Oh, that one's just there to kill me. I see. I see. Where about that one? I wonder what this switch does. Oh, it opens the door. Wow, that door's not open very well. This may be the death of me. I know what I'm doing here. Let's take a chance. If that was the easiest way to do it, maybe it was. Thanks. Can I get this one? Congratulations. The test is now over. Uh -oh. All aperture technologies remain safely operational up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory incandescence. Thank you for participating in this aperture science computer My gosh. enrichment You know activity. what I've learned? Goodbye. They were lying about the cake. Can you believe that? Exactly. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, wait. Ooh, look. There must be something up there I can hit. Not that I know of. I can crouch. Door doesn't open. Oh, I wonder if this is a, uh, I wonder if this is just a momentum test. Can I make that hole? I might be able to make that. Yep, it's momentum.
<laughs> it's like the tutorial again. It's like, here, now you're on step 20. Well, we're going to teach you how to use the portal all over again. Caution, this equipment starts and stops automatically. Probably have trouble with staring. Yeah, exactly, right? I don't know if anybody noticed that. Oh, I don't have a 90 degree corner. Your avatar has interesting little things in her legs. You can sort of. There, you can see the things in her legs there. I don't know what the story is about them. Other than this is how we explain that you can fall a great distance and not hurt your legs. I didn't try that. I should have tried it. Nothing. Weighted cubes traveling. Now where do I need to go? Oh, do I need to go over there? There's a door. Nope. It is not that door. to get across this broken ramp. Like that. All right, across broken ramp. A case study, genetic life form and disk operating system. So that's GLaDOS. For, for those who are wondering who Jinx was referring to, GLaDOS is the computer that keeps talking to us. All right, go back to the previous slide. Black Mesa, 2.59% of all DOD contracts, 10 billion in federal dollars annually, 12% from full and open competition, not bound by Government Performance Results Act. Anyway, a little bit of history. Black Mesa, Aperture. <laughs> Proposed. Awarded. There you go. Genetic life form and disk operating system. Costly Black Mesa personnel overpaid given limited skill set ambition. Design inhibits ice. Nothing more. Now I get to see my test chambers that I was in.
Maybe Black Mesa. That was a joke. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. Well, that's where I just came out. Oh, this door opens from one side, but not the other. That's cool. I don't think any of this text is... That's just nonsense. Pretty sure that is also just nonsense. What? I failed? What is this? Oh, apparently it's nothing. can't go through the window. Which I guess means... More momentum is there. The graffiti's awesome. The cake is a lie. 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 Ah. Oh, look. I can get in the companion tube thing. This looks perfectly safe. Whoa. Hey. Where am I going? It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. The test is over. Come back. What number was this? Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This test... The cake is a lie! Yeah, I know. So this particular test... May have been before I had both the orange and the. And the uh... uh oh, somebody cut the cake. I told them to wait for you, but they cut it anyway. There is still some left. If you hurry back. The cake has been cut. <laughs> See if you can upgrade to some pie. Now nah, we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, now 
now we're getting dangerous. We have like mechanics and stuff. through here most of these aren't i should have pointed this out for anybody that hasn't played the game most of these surfaces won't take a portal let me check something yeah the game doesn't have too many in the too many options in, i don't want to turn it down too much because i want uh, glados to be Some of the surfaces will take portals, but some will not. Like that one. Yeah. Oh, I think I have to get up onto that. do this now and stand up and jump through. Thank you so much. I can't really go to my chat. One of the things, this game does not behave if it loses focus. There we go. Some hats. Get the hat. Nice. Thank you. Run this way. But but the little person figure is running that way. But this person tells me to run this way. Run this way. Now where am I? Nope, loading. Yeah, I can't. Uh, it's hard to type into chat because the. You, uh, hello. I'm nodding again. I'm nodding. Uh, if I lose focus in the game, it like messes up this, it like disappears and the stream kind of messes up. So. Alright, where are all these guys going? They all go to the roof? Oh, this guy doesn't. subscribe thank you wow oh kind oh hard kit gifted a tier one sub to build grimly well thank you hard hit so generous thank you what's in this ladder Very generous, sir. Thank you. I think 
I need to go. Oh, I... the ladder is a clear indication that it's broken. You're crazy man. Gift in a sub to the cooking room. The Thank you so much. So generous. Thank you. Is anyone there? Yes, I'm still here. Got my gift box. Nice. Keypad doors, I don't think, ever open. So I think what I need to do... This orange portal is now looking across this room, and I think I need to get up onto that platform, which you can see right there. And I'm going to need lots of momentum to get there. <laughs> That's awesome, Cookie Mama. Yes, there's a tiny bit of irony. That. Whoa! Game froze up there for a moment. It's okay now. To a bit of a loud place here. Oh, I did hit it. Oh, you do! 
awesome. Well, thanks for stopping in here tonight and watch me play in something completely different. Well, except for these moving pistons, because there seem, there's probably a lot of moving pistons in some of the Isaac instances, I think, so it's not entirely different. I still think I know how to do it, I just didn't do it. When did you start to stream? When did I literally start to stream for the first time? Uh, last December? Um, unless you mean, when did I start tonight? And it was two hours ago. This one's a good starting point, because that one you can s Ow! This thing just killed me. Oops. All right. Don't back up into this. I gotta get one, I gotta go through this portal onto that piston and then shoot a piston on the far floor, the blue one, and then back up through, no, I gotta shoot the orange one. Oh, and then I just step straight. And I just missed it. Try this again. Orange.
I should have turned the left. According to Gladys. What's through here? Help! What do we got? Water? Beans? Computers? Finished cans of beans. That's it. Why aren't they moving? Silence is deafening. Ah. <laughs> whoa, 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 dude. I'll take care. Hey, Cyclonos. Yes, the cake is definitely a lie. We have found out the cake is a lie. We have moved on from that tragic beginning. And now, trying to avoid certain death. Radio. Oh, it's that way. What can I get that way? Oh, I can. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Good people don't end up here. I can hear you, GLaDOS. I really can. Wait, what? It doesn't work over there. It works over there. Ah, oh, Jadath. Jadath? Jadath? I'm not exactly sure how to say that. Are you also from the White Tree Org? I see Cyclonos regularly. Cyclonos was hanging out with us on Friday in Big Ed's stream. How can I do that? I want to get in behind this guy, not in front of him. Although he's blinking, so it probably means it doesn't work. Who's there? Whoa, it does Searching. work. Good night. Entry mode activated. Please put me down. Sorry. All right, I put you down.
so... Wait, I just get out of here, didn't I? Yeah, let's get out of there. Where do you think these stairs used to go? Ah, they went up and around the corner. That's where they went. No worries, no worries. I can't even begin to pronounce that Turkish. It looks cool though. Hey, Fulu, how's it going? I've had a few deaths, but so far, much success. I still have to get up here. Oh, there we go. That was easy. It's just a jump. This way. Okay. Going this way. That, one of the cutest ways to eliminate these guys is to do things like this. Then you can get rid of the blue portal. <laughs> Alright, Ant. Coming in with the uh, gift sub to a Pulu. Thank you. Tipping the hat all around. says over here another momentum drop <laughs> thank you thanks hard hit welcome Apulu all right this is gonna take a, a few iterations of movement So close. I gotta go through it three times. Is it lined up? Helps if I don't have to actually steer. There we go. So I don't actually come through at an angle. There we go. Seem to be hitting the roof. Am I doing this right? Well, I wonder if it's not that complicated. <laughs> Dealing with small child issues is allowed. It's encouraged, actually. No, I think this is all momentum.
<laughs> it's the big child issues that are irritating. Yes, I swear. What? I just suddenly did it. <laughs> I look away and it works. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hoon Bear, thanks for the raid. Now I gotta like, my chat just blew up, so I gotta make it bigger. So my game's gonna freeze here for a moment. <laughs> uh, Moon Bear, Silent Parrot, hello, Wesley. Miku Flame, Lux Mains. Hey, thanks, thanks for coming in, everybody. Yes, yeah, Cyclonos, Big Ed is a very good guy. Hey, Kadithi, hello. Hey, thanks for the follow. I am playing Portal. I was, I honestly, I was stuck here, and I turned away to look to chat, and I suddenly cleared this. <laughs> it's hilarious. Miku Flame, thanks for the follow. Thanks for showing. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for dropping in in the stream tonight, everybody. Silent Parrot, yes, Portal. It is a... Uh... Yeah, Portal is a Portal is a fun game. I am really enjoying this. It's like... Like every... Every little puzzle is familiar, but I really don't remember how to solve it, so it's this sort of... This is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back, or I will kill you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. The cake is gone. Now I'm mad. Silent Barrett's played Portal like five times. Twelve, sorry, twelve times. Can't even read. Awesome. Kadithi, thanks for the follow. Oh, you're following? That's, that's just fine. A lot of people say that, and I think it has a lot to do with my very irregular and weak streaming schedule. Yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to... I'm going to play Portal Portal 2 for sure. I actually installed them both over the weekend. So that's... Oh, I'm back into some kind of real thing. Da. <laughs> that thing was gonna shoot me. What is it? Oh, I, at least I got him to open the door, though. Oh wait, that's harmless now. So what what am I doing here? I'm gonna head to bed, got a flight to catch, no problem. Hey, thanks for dropping by, thanks for the follow. Much appreciate you stopping in. That thing just turned it off. That's what I did there. This door doesn't open. Stay open. Thanks, you open up that window.
able to make it to shoot itself that would be funny yeah that's what I was trying to do but it didn't it just went right through it so if I do this it's lined of sight through the portal so I got it to kill me <laughs> but yeah I was trying to get it to uh, to this shoot itself it didn't have to be like this <laughs> I'm not kidding now turn back or I will kill you all right, so this I'm is going easier. to kill Open you. The store. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. Oops. The rocket won't survive going through this field. It won't won't survive hitting the door either. So you got to run around and get it to shoot this wall out. But yeah, I was hoping. But if I set up portals there, it would actually shoot itself. But it doesn't seem to um, do much damage to itself. So no, I don't think it does. You probably should have gotten out of the way. That, that is a smart piece of advice. They didn't. Nobody wrote that with blood on the wall somewhere. Get out of the way. Yeah, it just bounced off. Over there. Okay. How do I get over there? Oh, all right, so another glass wall. So I think this is what I have to do with the rocket. So I have to go and get another rocket. Whoa. Was that guy searching for me? This will work. So the blue one's up. So he should be able to see me. I guess that's why you can't blow it up. Because if I had blown it up, then I wouldn't be able to have broken this window. Gonna lurk until you fall asleep. That's cool, bud. No worries. Thanks for the host. Taking over Ed's role of the sleep age. I guess, yeah. the other door. It's like, Glonos, thanks for dropping in. Nice to see you as always. Hey, all up now, that's cool, man. Mr. Enya? <laughs> How do I get up there? Confused. 
I have no recollection of this. Can't jump. Are there cubes going through here? There are cubes going through here. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to get... I have to get my little rocket to break the cube dispenser. That's what I have to do. All right, so I need to go back and find a rocket. Whoa, rocket guy. Did it work? I might have just hit it. Yep, it worked. One cube. Oh, this looks dangerous. Back over there. Loading. One more puzzle down. Up. I must go up. Oh, I'm in goop. I got some kind of weird movement going on now. This makes my brain hurt. Your character has a jumping deficiency. No, I don't think it's the character. It might be the driver of the character. Oh, great. I bet you there's a... Oh, the radio. So, I'm very certain at this point I have to go up there. I'm also very certain that every single one of these doors are going to open and there's going to be a killer robot behind it. So I need to be out of line of sight. I jump when you can portalate. Probably involved. Yeah, it doesn't help that it involves a gun that's not for killing overwatchers. That's right. All right. Any of them have me in line of sight? No. All right. So I have to eliminate every last one of these guys without them eliminating me. Target lost. Whoa. Ah! Don't Shoot me. You. That's the closest thing you get to a gun. And then it immediately just blows up. That sloshing noise, it's really weird because when you move, you slide. Like, like you don't immediately stop moving, so you speed up slowly. Yeah, it's, there's like muck. 
Alright, where's my next one? Right, right there. There you are. I you put me down. Okay, I'll put you down. Now I can do that one. Put me down. Alright, I only have one left. That one. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? It says. Last question, I'll seriously go to lurk, lurk mode. Do you eventually get cake at the end of the game? Uh, you must, you might have missed the graffiti, uh, but if you've ever heard the meme, the cake is a lie, that this game is where that comes from. All right, I think I have all of them. Oh, that one was actually red. Interesting, I didn't know I'd get a red one. <laughs> they sound sad. I know they do. They did uh, the audio and everything is so well done in this game. All the ambiance. Oh, wait. It looks like I can go out over that one. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. All right, so the trick is, this is kind of hard to see. <clears throat> I need to get onto that ledge. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to need to fly through the air out of the backside of this door. But I can't put a portal on the top of that door. So i got to put a portal on the other side of that door. That little uh, awning, whatever you call it. And the only way to do that is to fly through this. So... Square that one up. <laughs> I'm not even angry, I'm just... Exactly. Now I have the, the orange portal on that door. So I should be able to use momentum to get me through that door all the way across this room onto that. So line up straight. Oh, I guess I have to go into this portal. That's kind of weird. Uh, this might be enough. What's the trick? Oh, and I missed. Oops. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go. Boom. Uh oh. Whoa. Give them a portal to go through. Get rid of the bad guys. Dodge, duck, dive. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That's, yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah, the timing. You can steer yourself a little bit in midair, so I think that's what I was doing. I like to do it without trying to steer myself too much because I find steering is less, me steering is less accurate. Oh, this is wild. I think I need to actually use momentum to get up there. Let's get you out of the way. Yeah, it, it does make you... It's not overly difficult. Like, there's, there's lots of subtle little hints. Like, there's scratch... You know, you don't really have to guess where to go. All the puzzles are kind of in front of you. But they're really well done. Like after failing a puzzle a few times, it, it, it becomes a little bit easier each time. And the momentum is just fun. Uh, you get physically engaged. I don't know if you can tell in the game, but when I need to like move forward, I like actually <laughs> lean forward and stuff. It's very, uh, it's a very engaging little game. All right, I'm in here. Where do I go? I'm <laughs> Val Grimley's leading too. Nice. Uh, oh, just up there. And they do follow the rules of video games, right? So the rule of a video game is that when you see a long catwalk like this, it's obviously going to break when you walk across it. I do the same thing when I play most games. Whenever I have to look around a corner in a game, I know. I do that in Overwatch all the time. I'll like <laughs> lean out and look around the corner. It's like, yeah, it's, it's not actually helping. Oh, maybe it's not going to break. I made it. I thought for sure it was going to break. I guess that's over top of where we just were. Yeah, it is too. Cool. Ooh, I wonder if you can get up there. Neat. Maybe this is leading cutting edge techs. It is. I know. It looked like it was going to break for sure. I'm like, that is definitely going to break. This is literally, I, I guarantee you this was put here to break as soon as somebody walked across it. Nope. There's their slides again. Door there. Big empty room. Actually, it's interesting. This room, I don't know if you go into this room in Portal 1, but there's a room that looks, oh, you must, because there's a, a field over there. We about the rust -oleum. It looks like a room from Portal 2. Out. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far 
is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse, somehow. Oh no! I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Where are you taking that thing? That door doesn't stay Do open you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. Okay, fine. Do touch. You're kidding me. <laughs> Did you just set that aperture science thing we don't know what it does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. All right. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually Wait, exclusive. Not that one. The rocket really is the way to go. Well, you missed. You didn't even come close to me. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It made shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it here. Ah. Did I hit her? Did I hit her? Nope, I did not hit her. This is a that up higher. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care, do you? Yes, this will hit her. Wait. Did you hear me? I said you don't care. Are you listening? Who are you? Hello. What is that? Oh, what's what? that? What's that? So That's now I'm in a race. <laughs> I'm done reasoning with you. Starting now, there's going to be a lot less conversation and a lot more killing. Are you coming back? Oh, hey, you're the lady from the test. Hi. I am the what's lady that? from the test. Hi. Where are we going? Oh, what's in here? What was that? Did you, you see something? Burning? I sense it. What about the damage? Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is... In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy oh, that part of me. I Unfortunately, I as much as I'd love to now, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. Thank you. For the opportunity to succeed, there was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the Companion Cube. Of course, oh, he couldn't you. come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends. Because of how unlikable you are. It says <laughs> so right here in your personnel it. file. Unlikable. Liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. That's exactly what it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. So that's funny too. Did she drop another Speaking ball? of curiosity, you're curious about what happens after you die, right? Guess what? I know. You're going to find out firsthand before I finish explaining it, though, so I won't bother. Here's a hint. 
You're gonna want to pack as much living as you can into the next couple of minutes. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It made shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care, do you? Oh, there it is. I'm like, where is the next ball? I missed where it went. Did you hear me? I said you don't care. Are you listening? One, 18.25 pounds package chocolate cake mix. One can prefer coconut pecan That's frosting. It. Three slices I'm done reasoning with you. Oil, Starting now, there's going to be a lot less conversation and a lot more killing. Three slash four cup butter or margarine. One and two. <laughs> so deadly. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bath in this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right in my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less. <laughs> it's good. Cake when I'm gone. You, look, you're wasting your time. And believe me, you don't have a whole lot left to waste. What's your point anyway? Survival. I think that's supposed to be stuck. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which it's just about to. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. That's you. That's how dumb you sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so long? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> Things have changed since the last time you have been there. What's going on? They will make you wish you were back in here. I have an infinite capacity for knowledge. And even I'm not sure what's going on outside. All I know is I'm the only thing standing between us and them. Well, I was. Unless you have a plan to Oh, I missed. Oh, and I died. <laughs> I didn't do it fast enough. I took too long on the, uh... <laughs> with... This is how Skynet ends. Not with a bang, but with a giggle. Exactly. Comfortable All right. while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. All right, we're starting with neurotoxin oh, emitters. That code may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh, well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Oh, you missed. All right. Don't miss. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. There we go. Oh, where'd that one go? There it is. That thing you brought up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It. it makes shoes for orphans. Yes, nice I job was very close. Nice job breaking it, thing has numbers on it. Hey, look at that thing. No, that other thing. Yo, what's wrong with your legs? Uh, this is brave. It's murder. What did yes, I ever do to you? From the, test. the difference between us is that I can feel is pain. That a gun? Where are we going? You don't even care, oh, do you? What's in here? Who are you? Right, what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, that. On it. Hey, look at that. Did you hear me? No, that I said you don't care. No, what's wrong are with you your legs? Where are we going? Are you coming back? Oh, hey, you're the you lady from the Hi. What the? Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. In phase four, I'm fine. In phase four. I you survive this long because I was curious about your right, behavior. Line up another one. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to now. I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given everything. 
Alright, this is the one that I had trouble you. with last time. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion Q. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends. I don't because of how unlikable you are. It says it right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. Liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable owner whose passing shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. That's exactly what it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. So that's funny too. Neurotoxin. <laughs> so deadly. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> You do. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in me. Take a bath in this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. Alright, now I got three minutes. I'm doing much better this time. You, you're wasting your time. And believe me, you don't have a whole lot left to waste. What's your point anyway? Survival? Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which it's just about to. You are... That's you. That's how dumb you are. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done. Including this thing. You're not a scientist, you're not a doctor, you're not even a full-time employee. Ready to like us alone? Please change the plan. 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 Please
I'm not exactly sure what the title of that song is, but you can find it everywhere on the internet. Uh, it is hilarious and funny. Wait, you can download fan-made packs? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm gonna have to like check that out soon. I didn't even know that this game, Portal 1, was moddable. Uh, I am going to do Portal 2 as well. Uh, Portal 2 has single player and two player co-op mode. And I've played both of them in the past. The, the, the two player co-op mode is fun because it requires, it's different puzzle, it's a different set of puzzles and requires two people. Oh, still a lot, that's right. Yeah, that's right. All right, I am going to say farewell at this point. I am going to grab, right. Switch to this view and say farewell. Thanks everybody for jumping in with me tonight. I appreciate that. I, I do actually want to grab one thing on the internet if I can find it. I should have actually done this earlier. I forgot. Um, let's see if I can find this. Yes, here it is. I'm very certain that it is. Yeah. All right, this is one of the coolest things for any geeks out there. I'll drop this in here. You can check it out. Uh, that's one of my favorite covers of Still Alive with one of my favorite geeks, Felicia Day. Um, you can check that out. It's awesome. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This was like uh, super awesome to be able to stream Portal. It's been years since I've played it and uh, have everybody come in and, and laugh at the end is, is super fun. Much appreciated. All the follows, hard hit. Thank you so much for the subscription and all the, all the gift subscriptions. Very much appreciate that, my friend. That is very, very generous. Uh, I don't even think I have my log up so many people followed and i got a lot of new subs i really do appreciate that very much and the company and the lurkers as well always nice to see people coming out and hanging around so thank you very much for that since it's late i'm just going to close it at this point hopefully everybody has a wonderful week i am on the official lotro stream tomorrow at 9 p.m eastern which is my next stream coming up so you can you can check that out there and uh, hope everybody has a great week. Talk to you later. Take care.